I, I'm just really kind of wondering why you're here. The, according to the EIA, the Energy Information Agency, Colorado's oil shale deposits hold an estimated one trillion barrels of oil, nearly as much oil as the entire world's proven reserves. And over the long term, that could equate to hundreds of billions in economic benefit to Colorado. And uh, few would disagree with the, uh, the, the passage of Waxman um, uh, Markley. Markey would effectively kill any future oil shale production in Colorado. That's a huge thing for the state of Colorado. I mean, that's the biggest single economic blow that you could have, in my opinion. Then you have the second one. This, is, this came out from the uh, Food and Agricultural Policy Research Institute. Now, we're talking mostly about eastern uh, Colorado. Um, re released a study stating that a typical 1,900-acre feed grain farm would, f would face 11649 in higher energy costs by uh, 2020 and 30000 by 2050. Now, if you look at Colorado, you have uh, average size farms about 858 uh, acres. If you do your math, that means that you would be, if the passage of this bill would cost your farmers somewhere around $5,000 a year by 2020, $14,000 a year by 2050. I guess, I guess I'd have to ask you, with those two major economic factors in Colorado, do you support, are you here supporting Waxman Markey today? I'm here by invitation, so that's oh, why I'm here. But oh, wait a minute, that might clear it up. So you don't necessarily support. Well, I think you don't support it. Uh, here's what I support. I support the, a national energy policy that's married to a national climate policy that gets at these goals that we have okay. for greenhouse gas reductions. And and I and I believe that if you do that, that there will be some vehicle that may not look exactly like Waxman Markey, particularly after the Senate finishes his work. But I very much support climate legislation that is joined with the national energy policy to get us to the greenhouse gas emission reduction goals that are set for 2050. All right, that's fine. Uh, Governor Hovind.